Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Nicola complains that some other project's announcement is not very useful or useful enough to his opinion. So today we are going to talk about Deeping 23, which is actually an announcement that the more time goes on, the more it confuses me because it was announced in back in August actually. And it had some uh, features that were maybe not immediately user facing, but actually rather interesting. Like, as an example, a major one is this Ling Long, whose name is Turbo. Let's be honest, let's be honest. Ling Long is not a name that you can try to marketize in our Occident, Western, sorry, Western uh, countries. But anyway, Ling Long, which is uh, like an alternative, uh, alternative to flat packs and snaps. So that is something I totally did not expect from Ling Long, from Deeping, sorry. And then there is Atomic Updates, which is actually something that, in my opinion, is very useful to have in a distribution. So it was an uh, interest, interesting announcement. It was actually very technical. And just after this one, we had a series of very specific and technical uh, blog posts about how all of these features actually worked under the hood, which was super nice. Now, now, here's the issue. All of these articles eventually said we are going to do more articles about this to fully explain these functionalities. Here's the thing. They never did that as far as I know. And actually, if we go to the news section, I can't find these technical art. Um, articles. So that is also weird. It seems like I guess they had to take more time than they expected to finish up the release, which is fine. Which brings me to today. It seems like we are closer to the alpha version of Dolphin 23, or rather its release, because we can actually download an ISO from August of this Dolphin 23. And this is because I think they're uh, starting to announce and um, marketize their new applications that will be in Deepin 23, which is interesting. Now, they have done uh, three videos so far. I think they will do more. And uh, right now they focus on the music, image viewer, and um, also image viewer. Okay, so they've done two videos on the image viewer, but different ones. So I'll go through them. So they'll probably do more. They're posting them at regular, um, regular intervals, and they're very interesting. However, I do feel like they don't provide any kind of information information about how we should expect this deep in 23 to actually be. There was a leaked uh, screenshot of an article about DP23 that was removed because it didn't get a positive traction. So that is also weird. And this screenshot actually showed Deeping to have quick settings uh, in its uh, floating panel, which is interesting. Uh, I think uh, actually a step in the right direction, direction today I can speak. Let's see what I'm complaining about about these videos. So this is the first one. And I've actually seen lots of people praise this video. Now, here's the thing. So what what is this talking to us about. So there is this in application. Now, all of these things is 3D renderings that uh, give us little to no information about the actual look of the application when it's going to be released. I doubt, as an example, that we will see floating hearts appearing when you actually click on heart on anything, you know, on that button. Like, I guess that was just a 3D rendering. And we also saw like floating thingies, which also won't get in the final UI. So we can try to guess what the UI is like, taking all of those elements aside. And when that is done, the result is so, you know, empty. Okay, this one is it. This I think is the best shot we can give at what the application will be like. And my kind of reaction is, okay. <laughs> Like, is this the whole point of the video? I'm kind of not sold on this concept, but you know, Microsoft does it, must it must work. <laughs> the application does look nice. However, that is, I think, really not a point with Deepin. I've criticized Deepin before for what I have, again, th these views. I have no clue whatsoever, to be honest, how much these will closely resemble the final product. These are 3D renderings. Like, I don't believe this is the final application. How will it actually look like? like how close will it be to this maybe very much i don't know 
this is what confuses me. This is actually something that we have to be extremely careful about when we are working on a plasma announcement. Often they are 3D renderings or animation, these kind of things. We always need to be extra careful that they actually resemble the exact look that the user will receive, even though they're 3D animations and such. Because otherwise we're not actually giving much useful information. And as I was saying, deep in, I do have many criticism about the desktop. I've done an entire video about that, but the whole point of, of the deeping is, okay, yeah, looks good, but does it work? Like, can you actually use it day to day? It's the same thing with Maui applications. Yes, they do look nice, but I wouldn't use them because they lack so many functionalities. They are still being too heavily developed. And Deepin has actually done, uh, they went through, the, this is the third redesign they do actually. And going from the first design to the second, they made things worse. Yes, it was shiny looking and everything, but functionalities went away. This is the image viewer and again, okay, this is the icon, fine. And then we start seeing 3D stuff like icons floating. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, is this going to be like, is this going to be the UI of the image viewer? Yeah, I mean, and then there's this. I'm really confused about these videos. What are you trying to tell us? I mean, the message is pretty easy. This is actually a super nice feature. Now, this is something that you can announce just doing like three, these 3D renderings that won't look like, like the fin final product because it's a new feature you're adding, being able to select text for an, from a major image. Okay, that is clear. But animating the whole UI in a 3D way, do you remember when Microsoft did that to the PowerShell and then that the end product was looking nothing like the 3D renderings? I do remember that. So personally, I think that Deepin 23 is a very interesting release. I'm actually, you know, looking forward to reading news about it and I'm following the blog post and such. And I'm just confused, genuinely confused about how it's being handled because there we have these articles and we were supposed to get more, but we didn't. And then there was another article with a screenshot that also got removed. And now we only are left with the 3D renderings of the applications that will be in Deepin 23. Okay, o okay. <laughs> However, I do want to end this like on a very positive note because if I saw the last version of Deepin, as I said, I didn't like it. If they, are, they manage to do all of the designs that they claim they are doing, correctly and everything works nicely. This, by the way, is the Linglong, <laughs> sorry, the name is the Linglong uh, website to download the apps. If they manage to implement all of that correctly, they do not take off features and everything is still user usable. I mean, I promise that I will do a video saying that they did everything correctly and that they've done a great job. I'll do that, no issue whatsoever. Right now I'm just, what? 